What's up, Travelheads? Brian here from Life of BD, still in Chinatown, but in one condition. I only have $20 in my pocket. So the question is, what can I buy with $20 in Chinatown? We're gonna try to fit in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And hopefully we could fit in milk tea. Hopefully. But we'll see. But anyways, let's get it. So we're gonna start off the adventure with breakfast. And that means it's gonna be a cheaper eat. It's probably gonna be like a dim sum or a little pastry. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the lowest cost of our whole day thing, so let's go. All right guys, so we're here at our first spot at Yummy Dim Sum, and we got here a Bun Bao. Right, cameraman? Yeah. The, the bread's pretty soft from the way it I can feel sweet. It. Oh, it smells sweet. It's a $2 bun, and supposedly it's like, um, it has things inside, like the La Mai Gai, which is a lotus wrap. Meat. Sticky rice. This looks like there's a whole, whole mushroom in there. There's like this, uh, some type of meat, like, I guess, ball or cake, and there's like egg yolk. What do you have in yours? Same thing. You have a Onion? little Chinese sausage. You have a little bit of greens. Yeah. For the egg. most part, I, the bulk of it is uh, whatever's in this meat. Um, it must be ground pork. You think? Well, we'll we're about to find out. Try. Soft bread. We'll try bread. Mm, that's a sweet bread. All the flavor from all this mixture. How is that as a whole? Yeah. That's pork. And then you get that like umami flavor from the mushroom. It's kind of like in siu mai, that's what you get. But the bread really stands out because it's kind of sweet, maybe like coconut yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. So there's a lot of juice in that bread. I feel like it's a little like the sauce from all the other meat also that's mm -hmm. giving it the flavor from the bread. But I gotta try it myself also. Am I still in the thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, but yeah. I mean, it's time for lunch, so let's go get lunch. Now we're gonna go have lunch at um, Cam On. And we're gonna check it out. There's a big, there's a lot of history in that place, in that building in general. So it's one of the places I haven't had since Cam Hong days. So I'm curious of how Cam On tastes. What was once known as Cam Hong, now known as Cam On. This is my first time trying it since they were bought out by Cam On. There's a few food on display, but we got to go with what was best known in Cam Hong. We traveled our way to Lincoln Park to eat. So we just got back from Cam On. Um, we're now at Lincoln Park and we have here uh, fried rice or chicken, right? Gr chicken. Grilled chicken. It looks like it might be like soy sauce or oyster sauce mm -hmm. glaze, but it does smell good. And this is our lunch, so how much did this cost us? This was seven bucks plus sack, so seven sixty-eight. Okay, so yeah, for lunch that's a seven sixty-eight meal. Um this place used to be called Cam Hong back back in the days and I guess it got bought out. And now it's called Cam An, which is a similar name you could say. But yeah, the food is looks the same. I don't know how it tastes compared to Cam Hong, but I always get the fried rice with the chicken, with the roasted chicken, right? Grilled, grilled chicken in Cam Hong. I'm curious if it's gonna taste similar to Cam Hong. So let's go dig in. I'm gonna try the fried rice first. All right, fried rice it is. So it's the typical fried rice you get at the like Vietnamese to go like mm -hmm. shops so it's like usually peas and carrots but pretty oily like, Chinese sausage if you take a look it's like really shiny Chinese sausage and it's like you see this often in an Asian little party because they're always bringing trays of this fried rice when they're out there but yeah overall it's a good little lunch meal as you can see that piece is huge pretty oily shiny as you can see yeah let's try it let's see the flavor oh man you can also take all the oil in your face right now. It's really good. It's very tender. It has the sweetness to it. Kind of reminds you of like the duck or the duck sauce, but I don't know what they put in it, but mm -hmm. very savory. Yeah, it's really good. It reminds me of Camp On one, to be honest. But they still got it, even though it's called Camp On. Mm -hmm. And on to the next now, for dinner. Just a 0.1 mile walk from Camp On to St. Anna Cafe for dinner. This is another spot I've been going to for two decades now. Well, now we're here about to go to St. Anna for dinner. It's a OG spot in Oakland, Chinatown. It gives you that Hong Kong vibe with the type of food like the macaroni, the G pop on, the Hong Kong style milk tea, and a lot of different things that they serve in Hong Kong. So this place gives you that Hong Kong vibe. I've been there many times, and this is my sister's go-to. Um, can I get a baked pork chop with rice? Yeah. And that'll be all. So now we're here at St. Anna for dinner time. I know it's still bright out here, but it's dinner time for us. And we got right here, what we got here? You got baked pork chop over rice. So you can see that there's tomato sauce, there's eggs, and then there's rice. And usually they just throw this whole thing in the oven, let it like 
dry out a bit, yeah. so it thickens the sauce. I like how um, the foil is keeping it really warm. We had it out for over 20 minutes now and it's still warm. It's drenched with the tomato sauce. That's basically like our soy sauce with it. We don't need soy sauce, that's, that's our sauce really. There's two pieces of pork chop. And don't forget, this is only $8 before tax. So after tax, really, it's a $9 meal. So that takes us down to... We're gonna go try the rice first. If it happens. Nope, no. Nah. It's still warm. Very tomato -y. Tomato and eggs. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the rice tastes like tomato. I mean, you could taste the liquidy tomato in it. Let's try the pork chop now. See the skin is already all like coming out and stuff. Soft little bite, could taste the tomato sauce in it right away. I wouldn't taste the most juicy pork chop out there. It's yeah. a bit dry, that's for sure. Overall, this is the place my sister, my older sister likes to go to. This is like traditional, like what you would get at like a cha chan tang. Yeah, this is just one of those places, me and Johnny, we actually gone to a few big places yeah. in Hong Kong. One of those like, they look like the little cafe spots where you just go in. Hong Kong cafes, mm -hmm. that's Hong what Kong you cafes. call them. We, no we normally go to these places to eat a baked meal, it doesn't have to be this. Basically, this is a cheap pop on, by the way, but we don't always just get this. We get like different type of variety of stuff, but we always get it with a Hong Kong style melt tea. But we did it today because we're on a budget. I only got $20 in my pocket. That was dinner. Now that we have some luck over money, let's keep it going. Okay, guys, so we still have $1.38 left. So, what is there to buy? Not enough for a melt tea, sadly, because they're like $2 to $3 around here. Actually, like $3 to $4. So we're just gonna get some more pastry. I'm actually looking at the egg yolk bun and you're probably wondering what's an egg yolk bun? It's not the yellow custard, it's the actual yolk that's gonna be melting. All right guys, so we're back at Yummy Dim Sum and we have here the sweet egg yolk bun and for only $1. So that leaves us 10 left. I'm not sure what else we could buy, probably some cookies, but we're just gonna skip out on that, so I say cents. And yeah, let's try it out right now. It's an egg yolk bun, so it might be a bit liquidy. You see that? Whoa. And yeah, let's give it a try. The yolk is warm. I like it. The egg yolk custard is really liquidy. As you can see, it's not your regular custard where it's all just smooshy. Still, they're sweet and good. It's a one dollar bun. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. We're pretty broke now. So we ain't got money to buy anything else. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until then, travel heads.